What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I want to tell you about a prison down in South Carolina by the name of McDougal Correctional Institution. And you know it's crazy to think about this but South Carolina has been a state where a lot of prison news has been coming out of this year. You know if you think about it it was just a couple of months ago where they had a major prison riot that took place at a prison down in South Carolina which would lead to like seven prisoners losing their lives and this would in part trigger the prisoner protest that just took place and it's today again where there's some prison news coming out of the state of South Carolina involving this level two facility known as McDougal Correctional Institution which has refused to evacuate the prisoners from that prison that I'm quite sure is going to be dealing with some major effects of this Hurricane Florence that is hitting right now. And it's down here in South Carolina which has been under a mandatory evacuation for the last couple of days where they are refusing to relocate these prisoners at this prison. It's over 600 prisoners who are at this prison and they're just going to hunker down and literally weather this storm. Now there's a couple of really crazy things to mention with this story with the fact that South Carolina at this prison is refusing to evacuate and relocate these prisoners. The first thing to think about is think about last year down in Texas where they had a massive hurricane that hit down there in Texas and there were prisoners who weren't evacuated from prisons down there that ended up getting flooded out. They didn't have power. They didn't have anything for I think like weeks. And the prisoners down there were living in horrendous and horrible conditions during the aftermath of that hurricane there. So you know I can only imagine and you know knock on wood God I hope this isn't the case but there's a strong likelihood that these prisoners down at McDougal Correctional Institution in South Carolina could be dealing with similar conditions during the wake of this storm here. Now here's another interesting fact to throw into this as well. It hasn't been since 1999, I'm pretty sure that was the last time that it happened, where there was a prison evacuation due to a hurricane down in South Carolina. Now I'm not sure if that's because they just haven't really dealt with any storms. I'm quite sure since 1999, it being 2018 right now, I'm quite sure there's been some hurricanes that have come through there. But yet again, it hasn't been since 1999 being the last time that South Carolina evacuated their prisons preparing for a hurricane. So that's pretty crazy to think about. Maybe South Carolina just thinks the prisoners will be better off just hunkering down right there where they're at. Maybe they're worried about prisoners escaping. But one thing that I can pretty much guarantee being a major reason why they're not evacuating prisoners is because the story goes on to say that prison evacuations can be fill in the blank. Expensive. It's all about the money. It's cheaper to keep her or cheaper to keep those prisoners right there in the eye, in the path, in the destructive course of any type of a hurricane. It's kind of crazy to think about. You know, Dave brought up a really good point in a prison story that he just told recently about being locked up and getting evacuated during a hurricane. And that point was, you know, a hurricane is already scary enough to deal with crazy enough to deal with out here in the free world. But just imagine being locked up, not being evacuated, knowing that there's a hurricane coming, looming, heading right for you. And they're just going to leave you right there. It's already crazy enough and scary enough to go through a hurricane being out here in the free world. But just imagine when your life, your livelihood, your safety is in the hands of somebody else or in the hands of the Department of Correction. And they're saying it's just too expensive to be evacuating prisoners. Forget that. We're going to save us some money and we're just going to leave them right there. That's got to be an absolutely terrifying thing to be dealing with. And some other crazy things to throw into this, you know, just imagine being locked up down there at this prison in South Carolina, knowing that they're evacuating prisons in North Carolina, they're evacuating prisons here in Virginia. You know, when Hurricane Florence first started making its path toward the East Coast, it was projected this storm could impact Virginia. However, more so as of late, this storm really isn't having that much of an impact where we are here. But Virginia's already gone ahead and evacuated the very last prison that I was at, Indian Creek. They've evacuated that prison. They've moved all of the prisoners from Indian Creek Correctional Facility to Greensville, the only prison that was evacuated here in Virginia. And you know what? That prison's in a zone D. Danny, Danny lives in a zone A, mandatory evacuation zone. And I know you're probably wondering, like, why would they evacuate this prison if it's in a zone D? It's definitely not in a mandatory evacuation zone, and it's because of where this prison is located. This prison is located, like, below the waterline, or however you say that. So, they went ahead and evacuated that prison. And even crazier, there's another prison. If you think about where Indian Creek is at, there's another prison called St. Bride's. It's literally, like, a stone's throw away 
from where Indian Creek is at, and they didn't evacuate that prison. And the reason for that is because that prison is at least on a little bit higher elevation. So to think that prisons here in Virginia have been evacuated, prisons in North Carolina have been evacuated, and yet there's 600 plus prisoners sitting in McDougal Correctional Institution right now, weathering Hurricane Florence, not being evacuated at all, and probably most certainly guaranteed to be dealing with all sorts of damage, flooding, no power, and probably some pretty crazy, horrendous, horrible conditions just like those prisoners last year were dealing with down there in Texas. And for God knows how long after this hurricane has come and then passed. The story says prison evacuations can be very expensive and they create risk for inmates escaping. You know, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I was at this prison down here in McDougal Correctional Institution down in South Carolina and they wasn't evacuating me and you worried about it being expensive and you're also worried about prisoners trying to escape during that evacuation, how many prisoners you think might be trying to escape right now? We are literally here risking life, limb, and everything else so we might as well try to get up out of here. So I tell y'all, if it was me, I'd like to say that I'd be trying to escape but I don't, I don't really think I'm built like that. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I might. Now, you know, I really want to know what all of you think about this situation. Do you think that they should have evacuated these prisoners? I hope. I mean, I'm genuinely hoping this. I hope this isn't something where we're going to look back on this and be like, man, they really should have evacuated those prisoners. I hope they don't have to deal with anything too crazy like, again, what happened down in Texas last year. I hope this storm just comes and passes and doesn't do all that much damage. And I also want to know what you guys think about the justification for why they're not going to evacuate prisoners. You know, it would have been much better had they just said down in South Carolina, the SCDOC or whatever it's called down there. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, SCDOC, South Carolina Department of Correction. It would have been much better if they said, hey, look, this is a prison. This thing is built to withstand a Sharknado, Tornado, Hurricane, Monsoon, Tsunami. So we're not going to evacuate these dudes. They're going to be just fine where they at. But to go so far as to say it's too expensive, we're worried about prisoners escaping. You're saying the wrong things there. South Carolina, again, you wonder why there's so much prison news coming out your state. You got to learn to say the right things. South Carolina, SCDOC, you need to take heed to, like, some prison rules. Think before you speak. You got to really... Really watch what you're, what you're saying. Because some of these justifications that you're saying is probably just going to spark more outrage, more problems, and you're a state that really, y'all really just need to, to fall back a little bit. I ain't talking about the prisoners so much. I'm talking about the DOC. I really want to know what you guys think about this. I hope, I hope they did the right thing. And I truly hope that this storm doesn't do as much damage as it's predicted to do. If you are somebody who's in the wake, in the path, of this storm, if you're in North Carolina, if you're in Virginia, if you're in South Carolina, you know, my thoughts and prayers and the thoughts and prayers of After Prison Show, they are with you. Because this storm is definitely hitting close to home, no pun intended, for After Prison Show. We took a lot of preparation to get prepared for this storm, and luckily enough for us, this storm turned more toward the south, but I know that's not going to be so lucky for people you know, in the path of this thing. And as I wrap this up, I just want to say again, you know, I can't even imagine what it would be like to be sitting at this prison down in South Carolina, this level two facility with 600 plus prisoners and hearing that you're not getting evacuated and hearing that all these other prisons are getting evacuated and then also hearing the rationale behind why you're being left behind. It's crazy. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and when I say enjoyed it, more so got something from this. I hope I was able to like enlighten you to this crazy situation. And if I did do that, please leave a like and a comment on this video letting me know exactly what you guys think about this pretty messed up situation. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace! What a day. Boy, I wish I could tell y'all everything. I wish I could. I can't. You know, I'm getting ready to uh, possibly make a major investment. And when I tell you what I'm getting ready to invest in, you're probably gonna think it's kind of crazy, but you'll be learning more later. I'm thinking about investing in some ramen noodles. And I know that sounds crazy, just hear me out. I can't really explain too much on it right this second, but um, I will be telling you a lot more about it in the upcoming future, very soon. But yeah, it's gonna be crazy.
Ramen noodles, who would have, who would have ever thought? What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I want to talk to you about a prison down in South Carolina known as McGoogle. 